Hello, YouTube. I'm David with the David West Channel. Well, this right here is going to be a little bit of practice for my saw made fire. I've never made, really made a fire just using a saw. And if I only had a saw, of course, I'd just use twigs. But let's just act like we have to make it out of this piece of pine or sort of a one stick fire. I want to go ahead and do some test out some ideas that I have, like. Um, Cutting some discs off of here, putting them together to make them three-dimensional discs. Maybe taking like a 10-inch piece of pine and cutting it to where I can use it like a fro to split down some other pieces of this. Not sure how that's going to work, and that's what we're doing here, sort of behind the scenes. Little test of those two ideas. <laughs> Well, that way you can really present some edges to the fire instead of it laying flat and the flames not being able to get air or have nothing to climb up on. No matter how you throw that in on top of some flames, you're going to be able to present some thinner edges to those flames. Let's try to make another one. I kind of was, I kind of was wanting to go all the way to the center so that it'd be more like a more than like a ball. Let's try another one. Now, overshot the center on that, but let's see how they fit together. <laughs> I like that better than the first one. Let's try one more. about that. Ain't bad. All right. Let's see what I can do about making a fro now. our wedge good now I need a club all right I hope that club's gonna be big enough about a 20 pound club It's going to work just fine, isn't it? Oh, yeah.
So I'm gonna part, cut part of this off for a club. Now, now I need to make up some more three-dimensional discs. So that's what I'll work on next. We'll use our club here for that. Let's make up two more three-dimensional discs. Here's the last two. big old tulip poplar tree. Let's see if we can get that branch right there to pull down and break off of there. Look at this. If I still wanted to make a fro, I can make it out of this piece. This being the handle. Or if I wanted to make even a bigger fro, I could make it here with this being the handle. But do you know how much work that would be? That'd be a lot of work with just the saw. Now if I had a hatchet, it'd be nice. So what do you say, we do have some very good pieces on here. What do you say we take all this, this knotted area, cut it off here and here, and we'll make the club right here. This would be the club. Then right here, we'll make our three dimensional discs. And then in between these knots, we'll find chunks of wood that we can quarter up and split with our wedge. This is the Corona razor tooth saw. You get them at Lowe's for $20.
Just a simple wedge. Tulip poplar, you see the green. And a simple baton. Let's go ahead and make some three-dimensional discs. I'm gonna make 10 of these. I'm not gonna make you watch that. Let me just go ahead and process them up and I'll turn you back on. All right, let's see if our wedge here will split out some of these, some of these little pieces here. That's too wet. All of that is too wet. So let's just split out. Let's split this one out. I might be able to split that now. I better not. <laughs> Tinder.
just about out of power, so I need to hurry up and get on with it. Two at Poplar Bark. And we'll go ahead and ferro rod ignite it. I'm going to use our saw to scrape the fire rod. Let's just see if we can build a fire up before I run out of power. I am out of power. I hope we got a good bit of that on time lapse. Just out there practicing a little bit with some techniques. The little wedge did well, didn't it? The three dimensional discs, they did real well. Scratching the ferro rod with the back of that Corona saw, it all worked out fine. Let me say my goodbyes before we run out of power. Thanks for joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.